Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert. It has been a few weeks, I know. I have had a lot going on. I am currently battling the end stages of coronavirus, so I apologise in advance if I sound a little croaky today. I do hope everybody had a great Christmas, great holidays, whatever it is you call that period. I hope you had a great one and a happy new year. I have got a brand new microphone so if I sound a little different that might be why and this is quite a sensitive one so I apologise if there is any background noise that I'm unable to reduce. Okay so let's get started. In the last episode I did do some bits with some astral sorcery I had done some bits, I think either the last episode or the previous episode before that, with some Thorncraft. But this episode, I kind of want to take a little bit of a step back because I am having a little bit of trouble with my inventory storage. I am just completely out, completely out of storage in some of the areas. I mean, this has now overflown into here and there's some other bits and it's getting a little bit annoying trying to find out which chest I put what item in. So I'm thinking it's probably worth trying to get started with a little bit of um, applied energistics. Try and get a little bit of a computerised um, storage system going on. I can't do a lot of it, I believe. There's some bits I'm going to need to open up before I can do a, the rest of it. See the applied energistics gates down here, but I do believe there isn't a quest line for it. There's no actual tasks that I can do to gain rewards and stuff. I have done a little bit of applied energistics but I haven't gone into the really major areas of it I know how the basics work so I know first things first is I need to go and find some meteors I don't think I've got anything for it yet no first things first I need to go into find the right buttons and find these meteors on the map down here they hold the bits we need I can't remember what they're called right now I'll figure it out when I get there but I have one meteor over here there's another meteor over there um there's one all the way down here but I need I think it's four bits from it so they don't you don't always get them all from the same one and sometimes you have to t visit several of them before you actually get all of the ones you need so first off as this one's really close i can go there to with you guys after i've had a little bit of a sleep i can go there with you guys and um go to the first one and then after that i will meet you at the rest come on let's get some sleeping done right there we go okay I need to get my let's move you out the way where's my hang glider there it is right let's get up here jump now what way was it I was going I need to remember to press the right buttons the way I'm facing so let's turn around and see if I can do this Choom. oh freezing right it really was close oh and I'm down now in the middle of this should be a chest It's just trying to find where the middle is. OK, 
Come on, chest, where are you? Now I need to go one up. Is that it? There it is. But I'm not going to be able to open it until I take that top one off. Right, here we go. We have an Inscriber silicone press, the Inscriber logic press, and the calculation press. Now, if I... Yes, it... I've got the calculation. It's the engineering one I need now. That's the last one. I might as well take the chest while we're at it. Boom. Right. As it's a little bit of a journey over to the next one up here, I will go there and I will meet you guys when I'm there. Okay guys, we're at the next one, so let's dig down and find out what's in the next chest. Oh, it's a lot quicker finding the chest coming from the top. Oh, we have another silicone, but we get some aluminium nuggets. Okay, now we just need to go to the next one. And I jumped down, didn't I? Okay, so I will meet you at the next one. Okay guys, that was a bit of a journey, but we got here. Let's have a look at this one and see... Oh, there it is. Logic and silicone. No! Okay. Oh, well, we don't need that chest. On to the next one. Okay guys, I got on to the next one. This is the last one that I can see on my map. So if we don't find what we need in this last chest here, I will just go around and see if I can find any other meteors by myself. And as soon as I've found what we need, I will come back to you guys. Oh, I'll find the chest first. Where's the chest on this one? It's hiding from me. Oh well, it looks like a vein miner might be in action to find this one. I hope it has got one. I haven't got enough uh, stuff left on my axe to do a vein miner. That Ah, there you are. Oh, that was a big meteor. That's why. Ooh, I'm going to run out of food. Right, and hey, that's the one we needed. Wow, that's a lot of sky stone. Let's put that in there for now. Well, that was a bit of luck. Right, I have all of the bits that I need. So give me a minute, guys and I will be back at the base. Okay, we're back at the base now, guys, and in my inventory, I have the engineering, silicone, logic, and calculation presses. Now, if we actually go into applied energistics on here, we need to get ourselves the ME controller, the ME drive, we need some storage cells and we need to have uh, well the crafting terminal hopefully 
but mainly I think it's the just the interface terminal that is the one just to get going storage monitor oh no the ME terminal it's been so long since I've done this without any form of guidance but I know I'm gonna need fluix crystals so the first thing let's have a look at this well ME controller so I need an energy acceptor which needs a redstone engineering block oh I need the engineering processor oh yes the inscriber forgot about that part so I need two sticky pistons four reinforced stone a machine case and a fluix block okay the reinforced stone is just a oh I can get rid of the andesite and diorite and stuff with some clay dust which I can put in my macerator let's have a look at what we actually have mm, don't have any clay dust but I have clay blocks so let's just make a bunch of that I'm probably going to need some later on uh, where did that inscriber go let's put that up on here um, I need some grout I need some of the stones what have I got I've got a bunch of diorite that I don't need and a bunch of andesite that I don't need more clay in there this is why I need to sort out my inventory. I've got things in the wrong places. Um, I don't think I've got any grout left. No, doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to gather all of the bits that I need. So give me a sec, guys, and I'll come back when I've got all these bits to make the inscriber hi guys i'm nearly done um i just got to the stage where i have to make the fluids crystal and i can't remember if i've shown this to you just in case you are unsure or have never done this you basically need some nether quartz some redstone and some charged certus quartz that can be found in the world as well as being able to charge normal certus quartz in any machine that can do some charging there's actually a charger from AE2 which can do that for you and all you're literally doing is throwing them together in the puddle of water and a few seconds later you get your flux crystals now I am at the stages of being able to make this I had a little bit more work to do than I originally thought for this machine case you actually need an advanced machine case which requires steel plates advanced alloy which we hadn't made before carbon plates and a basic machine case now I had a basic machine case in my inventory to make the carbon plates you need raw carbon in a compressor uh, to get the raw carbon you need raw carbon fiber which you can get from pulverized coal which you can do in the macerator um, for that one block will get you nine pulverized coal, coal or one coal will just get you one pulverized the advanced alloy is three iron plates three bronze plates and three tin plates which make this component here you put that in the compressor you get your advanced alloy i should be oh and for anybody that doesn't know i am sticky pistons can be made with just a normal piston together with a piece of uh, together with a slime ball so we should, I just need to make sure my flux crystals are in a block and we should, it's too large because I'm not in here, be able to make our inscriber. 
Now the inscriber needs to be connected to a power source, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I wonder if it'll accept any power source. Where's the energy acceptor? Yeah, I need that. So let's start making something. The printed silicone is just some silicone. Ender IO, nuclear craft, applied energy sticks to silicone. Yeah, that's the Ender IO version. Applied energy sticks version is the Certus Quartz Dust or Nether Quartz Dust in a smelter. Is there any way of... Oh, um... Getting ahead of myself here. Right, is there any way that's... Applied Energy Ender IO Nuclear Craft version sand white sand in a crusher that's another way of doing it still one for one nuclear craft what about this one the vaults library uh, smelting silicone dust Crusher, yeah. Oops, went a bit too far over. Energized smelter, yeah, it's that which. Yeah, I don't know how to do that one. So I'm either going to have to go for. I'll just leave that there for a minute. Either have to go for sand or. The quartz. I've got fifty. I've got quite a lot of nether quartz going on, but I have much more sand. So if I take out my sand, I've got fifty four. Now, what did it? What's the uses for sand melter? The crusher. If I put it in the mechanism crusher I get silicone energized smelter I haven't got the pulverizer the compressor yeah it looks like a crusher from mechanism can do it here crusher 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 there you are I really need to put some more speed upgrades on this, don't I? Well, we've got five for now. That will help me determine whether I need. So I need that, and then I need that. Yeah, needs energy. Um. Wonder why. This breaks faster with an axe than it does with a pickaxe. No! Well, that would be why. Well, that's incredibly annoying. Now I'm going to have to make another one. Be back in a sec, guys. Okay. Lesson. Learnt. Do not break one of those things with an axe. Right. I have mm, as a charge pad. Oh, this might be why it wasn't breaking. Numpty moment. Right. There's. Come here. There's that. So let's put you in there. Now, when I try to do this, 
it works yay <laughs> oh silly me right um i can actually put some upgrades into this uh capacity an accelerator card so i need a oh i need to make one of these first anyway but for now i'm sure it'll be fine with just what i've got let's make this energy acceptor so i need what was that one called an engineering processor might as well put that up there so i need the engineering press with a diamond oh i wonder how many diamonds i've got left oh a few quite a few let's just make a bunch of these i'm probably gonna have to do quite a lot in the background so diamond no i need the engineering and the diamond and then to make this i need the redstone it can only hold one at a time by the way so it's not actually going to do anything while i'm walking away i need to clear my inventory again and decide grout diorite stone that'll do So, as you can see, it didn't do it anymore and, well, it wouldn't have done any more because I can only hold one in at a time. So, if I do you, you, and one of you, you can upgrade it to accept more. I think it needs the advanced inscriber. I'm sure there's an advanced inscriber. I just need to figure out where it is. It's around here, I know it is. Oh. oh, I'll come across it later. I know it's here somewhere. Right, we have our engineering processor. And for you, I need, what's a vacuum tube? I need the components blueprint with redstone nickel plate. Does it have to be brown stained glass? No, it can be any glass and copper wire. Have I got any copper wire left anywhere? no so let's get some glass need some plates have i got any copper plates left no so let's put some copper into here this is much slower actually than my machine over there but while we're searching for the other things it'll be fine uh what else was it i needed see i'm forgetting already so that's for the copper wire i need nickel plate and redstone well i have the redstone have i got any nickel plates 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 no have i got any nickel I'm not seeing it, but this is me. There it is. Let's put that in my rolling machine. I'm sure I've got a metal former. Oh, it's bronze plates. Let's put you in there. Got some of you. Where are you? There you are. I need to either get the upgrades or go and put this in my other... I'm going to go put it in my other machine. Has it got my plate thing on it? Much faster. Right. Um... I can't remember how to do this. Oh, really? It has been a while since I've done it. Oh, I could have just done that into there. 
We've got two of them. Well, let's save those plates, shall we? Because I'm probably going to need copper plates at some point. So let's save those plates. I'm going to... If I can find it, where's my copper? Have I really got no unbroken copper? So let's put that in there. Oh, freeze. There we go. I need to swap out. Gimme. You go in there. You go on there. You go in there. Okay, that's a lot. Give me back. Right. Now. Uh, oh, I need... Oh, is that the components one? No, that's the press models. Have I got a components one? Oh, I have. Handy dandy. Right. You go in there. I want the vacuum. Does it really have to be the stained glass? Nope. Vacuum tube. 15. Okay. So I need the redstone engineering block. Have I got any of them left? I know I had made some. But redstone engineering block okay we're short on two of you I've only got enough fluix crystal for one I don't have any more charged I don't have a lot of certus quartz please tell me I made some of my certus quartz into blocks um Lithium, magnesium, aluminium, osmium. Ah, Cetus quartz. Now, I know you said you can do it with the charger with AE2, but it's slow, it only takes one at a time. But I have a charge pad here. Do these work? No! So I'm going to have to hook up. So I made this to try and charge up the... What was I trying to charge up? The scanner! Previously. It's going to need energy. So let's plonk you there. You've not got any energy. Oh, yes you have. No. Nope. Hmm. Does it have to come from the bottom? Does it not like... Does it not like those wires? Am I going to have to do it on one of these? Have I still got some of them? I've got a connector. And I've got a wire. Let's find out. Oh, what on earth did you go on there for? Stupid thing. Right. Wire. Connecty. Connect. Wait. I said connect. Oh, it's like in that. So, we put it in and it charges it. But it doesn't always do it exactly the same time. So, give me a sec, guys. I'll be back when I've actually finished charging everything. Okay. I have charged a bunch of these. Uh, get some more redstone. I used all my redstone. Boom. And it's nether quartz, isn't it? So let's do 10. Yeah, 10 will do. And boom, boom, boom get them and then grab any extras right 
So let's get my second one of them. Boom. Okay, we want a charged quartz fixture, which is charged certus quartz with iron ingot, which I have. And then we need ME cable, which is quartz fiber with two either flux crystals or pure flux crystals. We need certus quartz dust. Does it have no it doesn't have to be black stained glass so I need some of my certus quartz and some glass I'm gonna have to sort out my inventory again aren't I uh, does it work in the macerator I'm going to get one. Is there any way where I get two? No. Crusher. Pulverizer. It's literally one for one. Macerator. Only the sag meal, but we can't do that yet. Grindstone, yep. So it's just going to be a one for one. Let's grab that for now. Because I'm getting very close to the end of the episode and I don't seem to have got very far. But we're getting there. So I want some of you. You. I have no inventory space for you. And yay, we got our energy acceptor. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do and where to put it all. But. Uh, I need to remember what I'm doing. Okay. So I have my inscribe. I have my energy acceptor. I need the controller. The con Whoa. I need to make two energy acceptors. Fluix Pearl? Wow, this is a lot of work. Bioplastic, nuclear. I need to get into the menu. I need to get into nuclear craft. Before I can go any further. A manufacturing. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, that's put a dampener on things. Oh, I've completed some quests. Oh, for in do for doing the machine case. Infinite water source latex processing. Oh, I think a latex processing machine would be a good thing. So I need to get into nuclear craft, which means I need to make the manufactory. Oh hopefully that shouldn't take too long so let's let's have a look at this this is where i need to remember to read the whole recipe and look at everything i want to make oh it gave me everything infinite water source oh it gave me everything manufactory well the only thing i'm missing is a piston and a copper solenoid and out of that i'm missing the copper item casing and another well I can do that quite easily um, aluminium rod which can be done in there and the copper item casing which can be done in there too 
So, I'm really, really running out of space here. I really need to sort, whoops, something out with my inventory space. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so if I put five of them, I need aluminium. Probably gonna get so much flack for keep calling it aluminium, but what are you gonna do? Right, I need that one and I need that one. So let's put you in first with you. No, thank you. And it won't do it unless I've got an empty hand. And then with you, I want to put you. You flew off the other side. What did you fly off the other side for? Right, that one can stay in there. Right, we've got you. Okay, boom. We got a bunch of you, and in here I should have some more pistons and our manufacturing. Ding a ling! So we've opened up the gate for nuclear craft. This is a choice reward, so we either want advanced plating. Or loot chess. Uh, what does it take for the advanced plating? Tough alloy. Which is lithium and ferroboron which is boron and steel it takes a little bit of work to get those tough alloys lead sheet metal graphite block lead item casing to be honest even though it's not a huge deal just having them is just going to be a lot easier and you never know what you're going to get with these loot chests mostly it's just food items anyway so let's claim that so now we have un oh i've got another one Adva oh for doing the advanced alloy well let's claim that one so now do we not have oh i was gonna say do we not have one for nuclear craft so for doing that it says welcome to nuclear craft this mod is all about generating massive amounts of power through nuclear fission and fusion the trickiest part of this mod is without a doubt figuring out how to get the various nuclear fuels and isotopes. JEI does show how to obtain it all, but there are often several steps. It leads to draconic evolution and the end game. Well, let's tick our box. <coughs> okay, and for completing the manufactory, we get 10 experience levels. The manufacturer is the first machine you'll get your hands on in nuclear craft. It can make various crafting materials and double ores. Nice. It also uses a crafting component in the recipe for a few other machines. Oh, it is used as a crafting component. Okay. Well, I don't... The ingot form is probably going to be one that we're going to need to get at some point. But right now... It's not what we need, and also I am out of time. So I will carry on. Oh, I I, I got loot chest. Didn't ah no my loot chest. Um, you go away in there for a minute. I want that loot chest. Boom. And boom, a nice pillar. I'm kind of glad I took those advanced things then, didn't, isn't? It's probably a good thing. Right, okay, so I have a couple more machines. We didn't get very far in regards to getting our AE2 uh, storage stuff set up, but we did manage to get an energy acceptor. 
we managed to sort out our inscriber and we've made a manufactory to be able to move on to the next part which was having the ME controller um, it was for this control circuit board I need the bioplastic which isn't very hard it's just sugar cane but I can't do it any other way so and there's probably a few other bits I'm going to need to do in the meantime uh, so before we move further on into applied energistics I will have to say it is time for the end of the episode I will probably work on possibly getting some of the processing units for this done if I have time to do it if I don't I'm sure it's something we can work on the next time I'm on I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next episode if you liked the episode don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye